Good day, everybody. My name is Fifty Sloth, and welcome to the Minecraft Legacy series. For the, um, today, everyone, we have a very bloody chill episode. But everyone, before we do anything, I have a few things to show you that I've done off camera. Now, lads, as you guys remember, last episode we made me. Blah, 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 oh my Jesus! Christ, we, in the last episode run, we made ourselves a sky railway and went on a villager rescue mission, which I put up on screen right now. And this was our sky rail over here, and it took us a very, very long time to get us villagers over here. However, as you guys can see, they are now in captivity. What are you doing in here? Don't touch those pigs, mate. Do, P, are you all, blink twice if you're all right. He's not all right. Okay. Um, but yeah, lads, down in the town here, we, as you guys can see, we've got the town hall filled up and ready with all our villagers. So basically now, soon when we start working on town stuff, we can start including some villagers into it. And another thing you guys might have noticed is all the trees are gone. I have got rid of all the trees to kind of help with the terraforming project. So I got I've rid of all the unnecessary trees down here as well for builds. Got rid of tons up there. And also behind the house, everybody, which is where we're going to be building today, as you guys can see, oh, also, I forgot about that. I actually got some enchantments. I put down an enchantment table. Got some basic enchantments just for to help me do some of the terraforming. But as you guys can see, the entire forest back here is completely gone. Same with the forest over here. This just helps a lot with builds. And um, yeah, I think it should look pretty good and just help bring the world together. Because after all, I'm going to be doing a lot of bloody terraforming. Now, lads, what we need to do is, for in this world, as you guys can see, I'm struggling with storage. Especially with... All this new wood from cutting down the forest. Yes, that's how much I got. Can you believe it? No, because I bloody can't. Look at this. It looks like I went and created, but I swear to God I didn't. But look at... um, I've, I've got a pretty stuffed up storage system. It is really, really bad. So that is why today, everyone, we are finally going to be expanding the house and making ourselves a storage room. However, we do need to actually add someone to the garden before doing anything else. Now, everybody, the person I'm going to be adding to the garden today is none other than the Sloth Man, who's been a very long-time follower on the channel, and I'm pretty sure he's also got his own channel, which I'll put up on screen right now, but he commented saying, Swifty, I'm telling you, mate, if you're low on iron, eat some steak. It's a high iron food. And, um, if you get it, you get it. <laughs> but yeah, I really liked that comment. It was really funny, especially because of my iron knees after the railways. It, it was just a funny comment. I really liked it. So, the Sloth Man, thank you for the support, mate, and uh, cheers for everyone commenting on that video. Now, everybody, though, the, I want to build our storage system because, as you all don't, for those who don't know already, this whole area back here is going to be where my house is going to be built. I know it's pretty big, but I want my house to be massive as the series goes on, and I want this whole area back here to be part as one big house. So, the first part we're going to be doing is actually getting rid of this little hill here because we're going to be building the storage system out the back of this right here. And we're, to do that, we're going to have to get rid of this mountain here. And um, I know it's sad to see it go, but I'm sorry, Mr. Hill, we have to take care of you. But yeah, ladies, while we're just doing some mining here, I do just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the channel recently, especially with the new Dwellers add-on series. I did not expect that to be loved so as much as it actually is, and I want to say thank you all so much for that. I, I was not expecting that support as much as it was like getting supported, and yeah, I, I really do appreciate it. It's, uh, it's absolutely insane. It's definitely stepped up the channel a massive milestone, and so I want to thank you all so, so very much. We've got so many new subs, so much new views. It is insane. And I want to thank you all so, so much. The community is growing so fast. But, um, yeah. <laughs> back, back to mining. Stop blabbering on bloody Swifty. Jesus Christ, mate. Oh, and another thing, everybody, I just want to talk about is you guys may have realized that I only added one per... Oh, I've only added um, the Sloth Man to his own individual sign. And that is because for the Rough Garden, everybody, obviously that is not going to be a permanent plan. As the Rough Garden was more so... Obviously, well, obviously it's a complete copy of Steve's Love Garden, so I want to make my own thing. But it's more so just for the time being. However, re in the um, future, everyone, I think I'm going to probably stay at around episode 3. 30-ish, maybe, hopefully. I'm going to build my very own garden, and I have a really, really cool idea for that to do with a tree. So, yeah, I hope you guys are happy with that, and yeah. With that said, um, okay, this time, I'm actually going to cut to when I've got this done. Okay, everybody, so I've done some thinking, and while I've done this, I've come, I've kind of got this level to the area then point that I want it to be. So what I actually want to do is, because I don't want it to be connected to the actual building, I want to make it so there's like almost a doorway uh, right here, and there will just be a door going through here and a little tunnel going up the stairs here up until this part here. And up here is where I'm going to be building my storage room. So the design that I'm going for, I have no clue. I I'm going to be making it up as we go. 
Okay, so I think to start things off, everybody, though, we should probably build the little tunnel going through. Now, the little tunnel is probably going to start off with just this area like this. It's going to be like a three-wide, like, little walkway, hallway sort of thing, just like this, and it's going to start going up kind of one block at a time. So it's going to have, like, a little staircase going up here. So I think... How should I format this? That's the question. Um, hold on, I need to figure something out. Okay, so what I've decided to do is make this part here have um, stone brick floor. I think that's what I'm gonna do, stone brick floor for now. And then after that, I'm just gonna go up basically just like normal walls. So it's not gonna be anything like too crazy or too special. Just gonna be something basic just like this. So after all, we're not trying to do anything too amazing or, that or extravagant. We're just playing some Minecraft, having some fun, and yeah, talk, having a little chat. So, I'm thinking I'm going to do some cobblestone just like this for the roof, and that's what we're going to do. But yeah, for the series in general, everyone, I kind of want to take it at a slower sort of pace, and kind of just have some fun, chill out a bit, and yeah, kind of just chat with you guys. That's basically all I want to do with this series. After all, Minecraft Let's Plays are, after all, Minecraft Let's Plays. So, you know, I get to play a game, talk with you guys, hear your guys' comments and all that, and just have some fun. And um, I think that's one of my favorite things about YouTube, honestly, is just being able to do that. Alright, so the staircase is basically complete. Now I sort of continue working on this just like that. So I think, yeah, just continue doing the windows like that. And then we'll go ahead and do that at the very end here. And we need to start also continuing on with this like, little roof area back here. So yeah, I, th I think this is working pretty well though. I'm happy with the build, how it's gone so far. It's formatting pretty well. And yeah, I think I was going to continue on something like this. Um, but yeah, also let me down know down below guys, how frequently do you guys want to see these episodes? Because that's my one problem is just trying to find a schedule and I don't really know what sort of schedule to do. So just comment down below like what, like what the schedule do you guys reckon should be? Because I'm happy with anything honestly, I'm actually happy with any schedule, it doesn't bother me. As long as you, I just want to know when you guys would most likely want to see videos. Alright, now though everybody, the, for the storage room, I'm not too sure what the shape of it should be. I, I do want to do the, the oak logs at the bottom just because I actually really like that. I've never really used it in builds before until now. And I actually really, really like it. It's a really fun kind of technique. Um, you know what? Lads, we could actually make this really strange and kind of go with the irregular pattern. It could look really weird, but also be really fun. Instead of just going like a square or circle, let's go. With, let's, let's go with the natural kind of aesthetic of it. Who knows how it's going to turn out? Could it turn out really terrible? But I think it should be pretty fun. Let's see how it goes. Okay, lads. So we got the shape going. Now, though, what I want to do is start going up with some blocks. Now, like I said. I have no plan for this, so we're going to be experimenting a bit. Uh, let's see what sort of design I want to go for. Now, we did do stone... I'm not going to do stone bricks to the floor, so I think I'm going to do a bit of stone brick work um, every once in a while here, where I think the walls will be, and then we'll have, like, another big window there. Have and more stone bricks here, just like this. So, yeah, this is going to be... This room basically just going to be completely filled with chests wherever we can fit and kind of just give us all the storage we would need for now and we can always actually expand it down to the bottom which i'm really really happy about I, i've run out of stone bricks so i'm useless jesus christ okay everyone so we've got this set now uh this part's a bit weird but i'm i actually don't know, really know what i'm gonna do for this area i actually kind of have an idea it could be cool if i execute it right but i'll probably do it in a future episode to be honest so what I think I'm going to do is now go ahead and kind of do that sort of thing around the top as well. But, uh, what could I do it out of? That is, I don't really want to do it out of oak because I've already used a bunch of oak for this build. I think what I'll do is put the glass in to actually get some windows going like this. I'd have to say that this build is going to have a very good view of the world because... Not only is it already up, like, elevated a bit more than the other builds, but it's also going to be kind of looking around to every direction, as well as going to have opened views to every direction. So I think it should be pretty damn bloody cool. Okay, everyone, so windows are in now. In Now, what I think I'm actually going to do is go ahead and go around with some cobblestone on the top, just to kind of tip it off. And I think that should just be a nice contrast sort of block. And, yeah, kind of help with the monotonousy of the stone brick. So, yeah, I think this should work pretty well. But also, everyone, as I always am running out of ideas, make sure to comment down below any ideas you guys have for this series and any build, like build ideas and whatnot, because I always take them into consideration and always will end up, end up using them. Because, like I said, 
I run out of, run out of ideas. So okay, we got that. So now what I want to do though is actually start working on a roof. Now for the roof, I want to use some oak planks because we are not really going to be using too many oak planks for this. But I kind of want to do something a bit more strange with it. So we're going to do some experimenting. All right, so I've actually cleared out this up here and. I just want to say, for the flooring, everybody, I want to do a bit of a strange thing. Why do I still have a milk bucket? Um, <laughs> just randomly went off topic then. But as you guys can see, I actually want to incorporate some grass into this. Now, I think grass is just an overall actually really underutilized block when it comes to building just because, well, it's such a natural green block and it just looks so, so nice in this and in builds in general. So we're going to be using it. We're going to be trying to get it as a trim and then filling this in with oak planks. Now, this should just make the build a lot more brighter and instead of being up really dull with the stone bricks, and I think it should look really, really nice. So if we fill this in, I'm also going to have some streaks and kind of patterns of, of grass blocks within this part as well. Perks of having silk touch, by the way. I just want to say none of this would be possible without silk touch, which is why I want to get that little enchantment table down so fast. But yeah, we're going to be making a proper enchantment room too at some point, but um, not yet. Not, <laughs> not yet. Not yet at all. But um, yeah, we'll be happening in the future. So if I quickly fill the rest of this in, what does this look like? I'm happy with that. Like I said, that adds so much brightness to the build. But I also now also just want to go ahead and add some little dollops of it also within. All right, guys. So instead of actually adding the dollops of grass, I actually added this sort of thing. So in all the corners of the oak, I would add some logs. And in the middle here, I found like the somewhat middle of the build, I kind of just added this weird pattern. It kind of looks a bit weird, but, um, you know, just adds that bit of diversity into the build. Kind of just weird patterns, you know. That, that, that's like the best way to get rid of monotony, honestly. So, for the roof, everybody, I kind of want to stick to that natural aesthetic. So, we're going to have to go up here real quick. Just go up to the roof, actually, for the, for it. And we're going to go up kind of... Uh, how should we do this? <clears throat> I think we'll do... We'll go up like this in most of the corners, similarly to how we did the stone bricks in that sort of pattern. And in between these, then... Is that this right? Hold on, no, wait. Wait. Wait, why? Yeah, okay, that's right. <laughs> and in between these right here, everybody, what we'll do is have kind of like an alternating log and leaf. So to kind of make it see-through, but I don't want to use glass. And to kind of have that green aesthetic, I'm going to be using some leaf blocks. Now, for the outside here, though, I want to do some oak stairs. Similar, it's basically going to be like that, but kind of more flattish and use of leaves instead of glass. Okay, so we're going to come around just with uh, the, what's called the stairs, just like this. Although, I think right here I might just have to do an oak block because no one's really going to see this side. So, I don't think it matters too much. But we'll do just keep on like that there. And also, what we're going to do, everyone, for this part, we're going to actually make this so that it will be... Um, these little like, log points, they're going to have torches on them. So, it's going to be like our way of lighting it up, sort of. And, yeah, I think it should be pretty... Uh, good. So, how am I going to do this part? This part's a bit tricky, actually, now I think about it. Much easier, but okay, I think that should work. That might work. Now, though, everyone, what we've got to do is go across with some logs, and we've got to try to make them kind of intercept each other. So, we're sort of going to be going across just like this, and hopefully making this look somewhat normal. So, we're going to do something like that. Uh, we'll go across like a few times and just try to make like little segments almost. So, we'll do like one here, like one more here. We'll probably only do like two across. We're basically going to be making ourselves a hashtag sign. So, <laughs> it sounds a bit weird, but that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be making some sort of like a hashtag sign. And that's how we're going to actually format this. Uh, and yeah, we're going to make ourselves this little grid pattern, hashtag sort of thing, whatever you want to call it, we're going to make in that. All right, sweet. There we go. That is actually perfect. All right, and then we're also going to break these into individual blocks as well because uh, I'm going to try to make uh, kind of like something for that to make it look a bit better. Now, what we need to do, I don't think I'm going to have enough, but I'm going to go ahead in these little gaps and place down some oak leaves. Now, this should look, in theory, really, really nice, and I think it does. That Oh, that looks so good. I love the look of oak, oak bloody leaves on oak. It just looks so bloody beautiful. And what the hell did you see? They just teleported. <laughs> oh, that is freaky. All right. All right, everybody. So, I've completely... 
completely, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, maybe, finish the structure. And this is what it looks like from the inside. Now, I am so happy with this. This looks so bloody cool in contrast so well and gives us such a nice bloody view of our world. Although the glass texture is, you know, a bit harmful to the eyes. But yeah, this actually looks really, really nice. Now, in the future, I might actually change this up with some glowstone instead. But I think for now, it's actually all right. Now, Everyone, we need to start actually planning and putting down some segments for chests and also a way to organize them. I think I'm just going to go with a classic uh, sign method on chests. But yeah, I think what was said, I need to make a bunch of chests, make a bunch of signs, and let's get straight to it. You know what? I could actually put some crafting tables instead of these blocks here, put some crafting tables down instead. What does that look like? That is actually much better and actually helpful as well. So, yeah, I'll make all these... I got so much... I forgot all my wood. All right, everybody. So, I've got a stack of chests and almost two stacks of signs. I think this should be enough. Now, I'm not too sure how to actually format this. I think I might just go the state... Like, the method of just stacking them up like this. But I'm just not too sure what I should have in the middle here. I could just do single chests, which I think I might just do. But we need to go around and start doing this for like every single kind of section. How? Wait, is this even? Hold on, if I go like this. Yeah, okay, that's, that's, okay, this part here is going to be like the main storage system, which I am really, really happy about. Uh, that's one problem though. This actually isn't going to have much of a view, this room, because it's going to be like covered up by like everything. Uh, that, that's fine, I guess. All right. What did I just do? That's so cursed. All right, everybody. So, you know what? I think that's honestly probably the best formatting for the chest I could probably do at this time. So I think what I'm going to do now is start organizing these, getting all the signs down for each individual thing, and hopefully everyone, by the next clip, I should be done. Right, and with that everybody, we have our fully organized storage system. As you guys can see, we've got all different things, like treasure, ore, gems, old equipment, nether end, mob drops, stones, uh, refined stone, sand, dirt, gravel, stones, logs, planks, furniture, saplings, apples, wool, glass and dye, decorative plants, farming, crops, meat, animal products. Basically everything that I've added and everything that I'll need within the world. So, with that said, I need to bring all this stuff, all my stuff into that storage room and I'll see you then. And with that everybody, I've completely finished up the storage system. I just got a Discord notification. <laughs> but as you guys can see, we have everything I need in all of these chests. Not that I have actually had much stuff. It's actually really sad to see. This is all I actually had. I thought I had way more. It goes to show how small my old storage system was. But everyone, at least now, we have a very, very good storage system for our world and for the future of our world. If you guys did enjoy and if you're new to the series, please subscribe and comment down below what you would like to see in the future. With that said, everyone, thank you so so very much for watching. Hope you have a great bloody day though, and good bloody bye!